Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show that celebrates all the terrific things we have right here in Texas. And that includes our first stop, where we head for a quick bite down in South Texas. You see, there's a bakery down in Hebronville with one heck of a reputation when it comes to tasty tamales and tortillas. So we took to the road to get a taste at the Hillcrest Bakery. Some parts of South Texas can look like a desolate destination. But as the sun rises on the sparren landscape, the beauty of this unpopulated part of the state starts to shine. Then you come across small towns like Hebronville, providing some refuge from a really long drive. And if you happen upon the Hillcrest Tortilla Factory on the south side of town, you may never leave. I consider eating tortillas all day. Oh, how long I'll be making these for? Patricia Gonzalez is a former school principal who pondered how to make a little extra dough for her family. Tortillas turned out to be the answer. If I'm going to snack on something, I'd rather do a tortilla with butter than anything sweet with pastries. Oh yeah, yeah. Since 2001, Patricia and her family have been making tortillas, and it all started with a taco stand in their old convenience store. When the taco stand would close down for the day, people would still head into Hebronville just to see if any tortillas were left over. Could this be, you know, something that we're onto? Something as simple as a flour tortilla? So Patricia started making more, and more, and more. Now they got a big old bakery that cranks out tortillas every day. Our tortillas have a 150 mile radius where we deliver our tortillas to restaurants and grocery stores. So this college station within 150 miles. <laughs> Ours has got a three day shelf life because there's zero preservatives on the floor. And if you don't remove them off the floor, then they'll go bad. It's amazing when you can eat a tortilla and it doesn't even need anything in it. I know. Just butter. Just butter. During her 28 years in education, Patricia was used to getting buttered up by her students. But she retired from education to focus on running her family business. My last seven years was middle school principal before I was tired, and I tell everybody I'm more tired than retired right now. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to the principal's office. Everybody wants to visit the tortilla maker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Chances are most of us ended up in the principal's office eventually, but not all of us returned to work in the exact same principal's office. I visited that as a student. <laughs> <laughs> then you, that's got to so, be surreal. Oh to yes. To be in the principal's uh, office that hello. you used to visit. Uh -huh. I knew the office well. Anyway, I don't think they um, would allow me in the office oh. of my old middle school. They'd be like, Shane McAuliffe, no. <laughs> Do not um, come in here. Fortunately, I'm welcomed at Hillcrest because it's not just all about tortillas. They also have tamales. So this is it. This is how the magic tamales are made. This is it. The consistency in our recipe is the recipe that we grew up in South Texas with. These tamales are a big hit with South Texas hunters. We have a couple of hunters that'll come in and say, you know, my wife says, don't come back without tamales or you're not going to go hunting again. So they, um, That's a fair I, trait. That's a fair trait. I think so, you know, and so um, <laughs> they'll do that. All right, Patricia, we finally get to try these. Which ones you got here? We have uh, beef and pork for your tasting. The moment of truth. And we've got a fork here, but there's oh. nothing like eating those. No, I've got to eat them by hand, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are awesome. Yes. Those are money. I can't get over how soft and doughy and delicious that masa is. That's amazing. So which one's your favorite, the tortillas or the tamales? Probably tortillas. I mean, we grew up with tortillas, but tamales, you can never go wrong with tamales either. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good answer there. <laughs> Miss tortillas and tamales. <laughs> so if you find yourself near Hebronville and have a hankering for a terrific tamal or tortilla, a hike to the Hillcrest Bakery is highly recommended. We kind of call them the dying culinary arts of the Hispanic population. You know, making a good tamal and making a good tortilla. Heck yeah, Hebron Mill's well worth a stop. <laughs> <laughs> Tortillas and tamales is a pretty nice meal. You guys know what you're doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>